Welcome to this demonstration of GeoHunt, the mobile application that turns the world into your game board. GeoHunt provides tooltips that will help you along the way. Let's get started by downloading a game from the GeoHunt website. The GeoHunt website offers a few examples that will get you started. For this example, we will download a map style game. You can download any .geohunt file type directly into the GeoHunt app itself. You click on the imported game and then click on a clue to begin. Again, you will notice the tooltips guiding you along the way. The arrow toggles the locking of your current position. We're going to unlock our position so that we can change it. In the upper right hand corner, there is a proximity icon. This icon that indicates how close you are to the current clue you're trying to solve. You can toggle from standard to satellite to hybrid views on the Google map. To solve a clue, you can physically go to the location and let the GPS in your device determine when you have solved the clue, or you can navigate there manually on the map. In this case, we'll use the search bar to navigate to the area that we're trying to go. You'll notice once we reach a position close to our final destination, the icon becomes sunny, but when we move away from it, it becomes slightly cloudy. You can use the proximity sensor to help you find your final destination. When you have finally navigated to your final destination, the clue text will pop up. Select OK and move on to the next clue. At any time during a game, you can use the integration with social networking sites such as Facebook and Twitter to post your progress or check in. Once you've solved one clue, you can move on to the next clue. Depending upon the style of game you've chosen, you can either randomly select the order in which you solve clues or you'll solve the clues in order. In addition to downloading games, you can create your own games. Select the Create button, enter in the name of your game. In this case, we'll enter in New York City. Select OK, and it'll create a new game for you. You can adjust the GeoHunt game properties, such as the hunt style between treasure, scavenger, and map modes. You can also adjust the proximity sensor which is how close the user has to be before the clue is solved. You can create a new clue by opening up the clue editor. In this view, we navigate to the geographical location where the clue is, enter the text for the clue itself, and also the text for when the clue has been solved. In this particular example, we'll use the Empire State Building. So the clue is, what is the tallest building in New York City? The answer is obviously the Empire State Building. Next, we'll go into the actual address and we'll search for the Empire State Building in Google Maps. You can identify the geolocation for a clue by physically going to that location or using the map as we did in this particular example. Once you have the location identified, you drop a pin to establishing the geolocation for that particular clue. Let's go into play mode and take a look at the clue that we've just created. You can play this clue just like the clues that we downloaded from the website. You can use the social networking features with inside of GeoHunt to post your status on Facebook, Twitter. You can also share the GeoHunts you've created via email or Dropbox. You can also submit your GeoHunt to Sundog. We will review the GeoHunt and if it's appropriate, we will post it on the downloads page of our website for others to use. More information on the features of GeoHunt can be found on the info page located in the app itself.